I mean, I'm not a professional race car driver or anything, but I do have an ego. Let me get embarrassed by a robot. Welcome to TransLogic, I'm Jonathan Buckley. For years now we've been hearing about autonomous driving functions, things like adaptive cruise control or lane change assist, but what about fully autonomous vehicles? Well it appears that Audi is one of the leaders of the pack when it comes to this field, and that's why we're here today to meet Bobby. Who's Bobby? Well Bobby's this guy. Well, we clearly have plenty of questions about Bobby. That's why we're here with Klaus for Wyand. Are there any other automakers out there currently racing autonomous vehicles? We think we have the most sporty piloted driving car in the market in the moment. Is it a camera-based solution or are we using things like radar and LiDAR? On the racetrack, we use actually uh, two systems just to be safe. The one thing is digital GPS, so it's very precise, corrected GPS data. And the second thing is an optical visual system which is viewing the track through a stereo lens. These are the cameras. Yeah. Uh, which so those are the sensors up the top there that are watching the track. But exactly. it's not using the white lines, is it, for directions? Not really. It's purely feature-based. So features can also be like these tire things okay. or whatever. Basically yeah. everything that he sees, which is quasi-static. For, for example, this, this little umbrella there, this could also be a feature, a feature. for him. Uh, like a too. focus point. And that combined with the GPS. Exactly. That gives okay. him his position. And actually the GPS and the visual is, uh, is redundant information for him. Okay. How long does it take for Bobby to learn a track? It's actually comparatively fast. So if we come to a new track, we show him once the, the right line of the track. So basically I go like this all lap long and uh, then we do the same with the left side and yep. he will basically learn the, the boundaries within which he can operate. Okay. And starting from that, the rest is numerical stuff which is done offline. So he has a virtual model of himself and then he can calculate virtual lap times and yep. optimize in a gradual way. When I heard I was going to be hopping into a driverless car, I instantly became nervous because there are so many variables, especially at racing speeds, and things change as the day progresses. Tires wear out, brakes start to fade. What happens, for instance, say Bobby comes around a corner and there's a patch of oil that's appeared out of nowhere? Yeah, the system tries to uh, control the car at each time. So you're saying basically if he was to start to lose traction, your systems would take over traction control, stability control, all the systems that we have available to us. Yes. It's just that the CPU will be processing them faster than a human could. Exactly, and the, the reaction on it is faster and more precise. Well, one of the things that we are here today to do, of course, is to put man versus machine. I'm going to be driving a stock RS7, but Bobby is also going to be doing a lap. And he's essentially a stock RS7, but fully autonomous, yes? Yes, exactly. Okay, and so our lap times are going to go against one another to see who wins. I'm actually surprisingly nervous about this. Well, I've got to say, like, from the get-go, I'm a pretty bad passenger normally, let alone when the car is driving itself like Bobby is today. So what do we have to do here? We will go for a piloted drive. Yeah. And we don't have to do a lot uh, because we're just passengers. Is there a safety button? Like, if all of a sudden Bobby gets a mind of his own, is there some way we can just shut the whole system down? I yeah. have a deadman switch here. Right. And as soon as I let loose of this button, I can basically just retake control. <laughs> It's quite eerie. Are you okay with this? You've done this a few times, I guess. We've done that uh, hundreds of times. Hundreds yep. of times. <laughs> and you seem pretty confident. We're super confident. Come on then, Bobby. Show us what you got. <laughs> oh, nice work, Bobby. Ooh. I like it. He clips the corners of the chicane, just like I would. I've spent some time on this track, and I've got to say, Bobby's doing a fantastic job getting around. I'm a little bit nervous that I might not be able to beat him. So what he knows very well is the line. 
And also the breaking point, as you already realized. The breaking points. He there. breaks comparatively late. He does, doesn't he? Wow, I think he's like clipped the cones. Bobby's out of control. <laughs> but he never touches the cone. We have never ever thrown one off. Now after the chicane, I just let go here, as we introduced earlier, and now I'm basically back in control. Wow, I can do I manual driving. I am so driving. thoroughly impressed by that, because I honestly thought that I was going to be terrified the whole way around, but it kind of behaves exactly the way I feel like I would behave around a racetrack, you know, if you know a little bit about racing. What he really does very well, he's very stable and, and quiet, or he, he, he does not like do jerky it's steering. Jerky. It's very, very yeah, smooth. It's very, very smooth. All right, so we're back. So now it's my turn, yeah? Now it's your turn. <laughs> I've got to say, well played, Bobby. Well played, sir. This is it. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't nervous. <laughs> and we're off. First you came. Oh, too hot into that one. Hold it, come on. And to be honest with you, Bobby is actually at a severe disadvantage. I've got everything to lose in this situation. He's got two people in the car instead of one. He's got kind of just ordinary brakes. I have ceramic brakes. And he's carrying hundreds of pounds of sensors and equipment. And he's a robot. Let's not forget that. I can't help but feel like Bobby was a little bit more composed. Whoa, into the dirt there. Oh, here's the fast part straight away. Fifth gear, hold it through the corner. Uh, hard on the anchors. Come on, Buckley. Oh, through the chicane. Oh, a little uh, too much, Buckley. Come on, man. You can do it. I kind of feel like I I would take humanity to race this. This is where it all begins. The robots take over. I get put out of a job, and then we have the robot uprising, and it's Judgment Day. Can see it all, unless I win, of course. <laughs> Last turn. You gotta do it. It's for mankind. <laughs> oh, I don't know. It's gonna be touch and go. <laughs> in the world of autonomous vehicles, Ford and Tesla both are really pushing the envelope in their efforts. Do you see Audi being potentially first to market with almost a fully autonomous vehicle available to the public? I think we are on a very good uh, way to uh, bring functions to the public. Really think um, we will see automated driving functions in the market these decades. Wow, this on decade. The yes. That was awesome. How was it? Good. It was fantastic. But I'm so nervous. Like, I'm just seriously. So you want the news? I want the news. <laughs> OK, first, first things first, what, is, what did Bobby get? Bobby did 2 minutes, 13 seconds, 0.4. OK, well, I've never actually timed a lap around here, so I don't know if that's, yeah, that's really good or bad. That's decent. OK. <laughs> All right, well, what was? So, so do you think you were faster? Well, this is the thing. I was on the ragged limit. So if Bobby's beat me, then I've got to give you massive kudos because I couldn't have gone any harder than that. Okay, okay. Yeah. No, actually, you've done the best lap time today. Really? And you did two minutes, six seconds, point yes! two. Yes! <laughs> Congrats! Awesome. I'm so happy about that. But honestly, I've got to say uh, kudos to you and your team because that is yeah, absolutely phenomenal. Uh, what they've managed to achieve with Bobby and automated driving is just simply incredible out here at Ascari today. Well, for Translogic, I'm Jonathan Buckley. We'll catch you next time. Thanks, Pete. <laughs> Great having you here. <laughs>